Um, I would like to now move on to um, the winner from Mod Challenge step. Okay, good. So hello everyone. Uh, uh, thanks for attending our presentation in the BMTT workshop. And I'm Yi Zhou from the University of Washington. I'm glad to introduce our, our method called uh, HVPS, a human video panoptic segmentation framework, which is the uh, winner of the track one on the BMT, uh, sorry, uh, MOT challenge staff leaderboard. Um, so firstly, uh, uh, briefly uh, talk about the background of this uh, challenge. So uh, the track one in BMTT is the video track. It, it, it aims to assign the semantic uh, classes and track identities to all pixels in the video based on a monocular camera. And the, the data set, we consider the MOT challenge step data set, which is extended from the existing MOTS data set with the uh, spatially and temporally dense annotations. And the evaluation matrix is STQ that jointly considers the uh, segmentation and tracking performance. And finally, our proposed HVPS got the winner with the uh, uh, 48.6 STQ. So uh, our, uh, our presentation will include uh, this following four parts. Firstly, I will briefly go through our uh, method and uh, then uh, talk about the human tracking and segmentation part. And then uh, for the seg segmentic segmentation part and finally show some performance and demos. So uh, the original step is divided into the panoptic segmentation and then assign the instance tracking ID to each, uh, each mask. But in our solution, we also solve this problem in another way that uh, firstly do the multi-object tracking and segmentation and then do the semantic segmentation. And I will introduce these two steps one by one. So the overall framework uh, of our MOTS method is uh, shown in this figure. So the framework can be basically divided into two parts. The first one is the uh, detect, uh, try to detect the objects with the instance masks and also uh, extract the embedding features for tracking. And after that, uh, using the embedding features, the second part try to do the object tracking and uh, obtain the final object tracking results. So the uh, firstly, the images are sent into the mask RCN based architecture with an actual embedding head to do the object detection and extract the bounding box embedding features. And secondly, we uh, uh, use the spatial attention map for each detection uh, from this, uh, also from this uh, uh, network and apply this uh, bounding box embedding features to obtain the instance aware embedding, which means the shows try, try to show the uh, foreground feature for each bounding box. And after that, these uh, uh, instance aware embeddings are sent into the tracking stage. And a Hungarian algorithm is firstly implemented uh, uh, and cooperating with the STR, which is the short-term retrieval to associate object in short-term. And then we also uh, apply the ReID as a post-processing stage to link the tracks uh, with long-term occlusion. Um, so uh, for, we, we firstly consider to use the temporal tension during the feature extraction stage with the three, uh, 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 three frame video clips. So based on the original uh, mask RCN, we add another embedding head to uh, extract the embedding features. So uh, during the training, these three heads are jointly trained using uh, this loss function. And considering the bounding box loss, the mask loss and the embedding loss. And uh, the embedding loss is calculated on the instance where uh, embeddings after spatial attention is applied and trained using the cross entry loss. And to show in the details of the temporal tension and spatial tension, uh, I would, uh, so firstly, the idea of our temporal tension is trying to aggregate the temporal features from the consecutive frames. So here, this formula shows our uh, temporal tension definition. Um, so we have this uh, features from, uh, original features from each frame and we uh, concatenate all the frame, the features from, from uh, uh, the three frames together and pass through the three three convolutions. And after that, uh, also uh, use the softmax uh, function to get the uh, final uh, aggregated features. 
So we show some examples uh, uh, here. So for example, we have three consecutive frame uh, as right here, and we can see this person is visible only in the last frame. And the, the features uh, of this person in the previous two frames are not very obvious, and uh, it only shows the obvious features in the last frame. So after this aggregation, we can get this, uh, uh, this feature for this occluded uh, person, uh, even in the frame T. So we try to aggregate the features from these three uh, consecutive frames. And also similar for the second example, and this person is uh, also, uh, only visible in the first frame. So uh, we also try to aggregate these uh, features together to uh, perform a bet better embedding performance for the uh, frame T. And the second part is for the spatial attention. The idea is to keep the foreground features and suppress the background features. And we also have this formula, uh, formula to show the spatial attention, which the F is the uh, feature, feature map uh, after the backbone network. And we pass through several uh, 2D convolutions and then pass through the sigmoid function to make the beta between zero and one. And this kind of uh, uh, weighted the, uh, uh, for, for uh, within the bounding box. And we show some uh, spatial attention maps here we can see our spatial attention can show the foreground and background uh, to distinguish the foreground and background within each detection bounding box. And after that, uh, I'll explain how the detections are associated. So firstly, uh, the given detections and corresponding features in frame T are assigned to the tracks that show up in the last frame by Hungarian algorithm. And uh, uh, this we use the mask IOU and feature similarity as the cause to minimize. And then match the tracks are updated and tracks that uh, find no matching detections are considered at lost. And after that unassigned uh, uh, detections and the lost tracks are reconsidered uh, for alignment with loser constraint in the short-term retrieval module. And this STR module uh, track uh, tracks are also updated to and conduct the possible uh, bounding box interpolation. And if if we can not uh, find that track, uh, we the new detection will be initialized to the tracks. And after that, if the uh, the the one one track is lost for several frames, we will remove that from from the uh, storage. Um, yeah, after that, we'll terminate that, that track. So for the Hungarian matching, we, uh, uh, we include the mask IOU between the detections of the live track in the last frame and uh, the current detections. And the cosine similarity of the features, uh, we use the cosine similarity of the features uh, uh, and both, uh, both the mask IOU and cosine similarities. And the feature of the track is that in the, uh, uh, of his first n and the, the most recent n frames. So uh, the cost function for Hungarian algorithm showing this uh, formula. And after that, uh, uh, I will introduce our semantic segmentation part. Uh, we uh, our semantic segmentation is uh, uh, using the based on the efficient PS uh, module. And we train this module on the KT panoptic segmentation data set and then fine tune on the MOT challenge step data set. So uh, the reason we didn't use the instance uh, segmentation results from the efficient PS is because we, we found that our uh, previous method, the instance mask from our previous method is, uh, uh, can be much better than the instance mask from this efficient PS. So we combine this uh, sem semantic the segmentation results here and uh, with our previous uh, instance masks together to uh, as a final summation. So here is our uh, final results on the MOT challenge step data set. You can see that we got the uh, first place uh, 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 from the three teams. And we uh, especially we can get a very high uh, association quality uh, comparing with others, uh, but our uh, semantic uh, segmentation quality is not very good. So this can be our potential improvement in the future. And we also try to uh, 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 submit our results to the 
uh, MOTS data set, uh, the leaderboard. So we can find that we our method can get the second place on that leaderboard. So that shows our uh, tracking performance is very good. So I will show some demos here. So here I showed uh, the, the demo for the MOT sequence one and the left part is the instant segmentation with and tracking results and the right uh, video shows the semantic uh, segmentation results. And this is a demo for the sequence seven. I think that's uh, too much for my presentation and any questions. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your interesting talk and also congratulations to you for winning this challenge. Thank you, thank you. Um, I think we have some time for questions also from the audience, but perhaps let me start by one from my side. Um, how do you okay. think this human focused panoptic segmentation is, um, different um, compared to what we've seen on, on, for example, on Kitty? What are okay. some unique so, challenges? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, specifically for this challenge, I think the uh, most dif different thing is the, for a time driving scenario, we can try to adopt some 3D information and that kind of 3D information is uh, uh, easier to obtain. But for this MOT challenge, uh, the most uh, 3D information are not available. For example, we can, uh, it's uh, kind of difficult to, for us to get the depth map or some uh, 3D information from that MOT data, uh, because that, for example, the cameras are different for different videos and uh, they are uh, no, no like 3D uh, ground truths for, for this MOT data set. So, and this, this kind of scenario actually are very common uh, for the most of the civilians camera systems. So I think that should be, that should be the, the uh, one of the most uh, obvious difference between these two challenges, yeah, the, these two data sets. Are there other questions from the audience? This seems mm, to be not the case. So thanks a lot. Okay. Sure. Uh, for your thank presentation. You. Sure, thank and you for the organization. Yeah.